What's up? Welcome to another edition of Random Thoughts. I'm your host, Random, if you didn't know already. Thanks for tuning in. I'm sitting here with the lovely Miss Corey Nicole from our URL Music Group. How you doing, Miss Nicole? I'm good. How I'm are good. you? I'm doing good. Thanks uh, for sitting down and doing this interview no with problem. me today. All right. So, Miss um, Nicole, I found out you're a singer. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay. So, what type of music do you sing? Well, I sing R&B slash pop slash hip hop. I guess it's. I'm. Yeah. I'm everywhere. I guess you can kind of say. Everything. Yeah, I'm open to everything. All right. That's dope. Uh, where did you get your um, start? Like, sing with? Was it in the church or just playing around at home? What was it? Um, I started singing when I was like very little. I used to imitate like movies and singers. Yeah. So like my dad would put on my, the first movie that I would watch, and I got my singing start off of was like The Bodyguard with Whitney Houston, and he put the movie on, and I would just imitate the songs, and they were like, "Oh, that's so cute!" And then next thing you know, I was kind of like singing everywhere, and I was in the church choir. I was in all types of different things, school plays. And then, like, when I got a little older, I was like, well, maybe I should really do this. It would be kind of dope, so. Okay, that's, that's dope. So, uh, tell me about Beauty and the Beast. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you ain't think I knew that. <laughs> I see. That's another movie that I was, like, in love with. And when I was little, I used to sing this song. And my dad was, he was so in awe. So he would make me stand on the fireplace at our house. It was kind of like a little platform. So it was like a stage. And he would make me sing it to all his friends when yeah. they come over. And I was just, I mean, that was like, I guess that was another song that I was really, was, I, I knew it and I was singing it. And that was when I, I really realized I could sing. I was a really a little singer. And that was a um, song that tracked uh, Celine Dion. Yeah. Song, right. Okay, yeah. that's cool. So um, I also found out you went to North Carolina A&T. Yes, I'm an Aggie. Yeah. Um, and I also found out, um, I knew it, but I had to reconfirm, but it's a HBC, a Historical Black College. Mm -hmm. um, how did you end up picking that school and why HBC? Um, well, I was all, my family, everybody in my family pretty much went to a &T, So I, was, I grew up around it. Went to homecomings every year with my dad and I loved it. And when I went to choose my colleges, that was the only one I applied to. Yeah. Got in and that's where I went. I graduated from there in like three years and oh, yeah because I went there and I loved it but I was ready to get out I had a feeling there was something else I was supposed to be doing all right so graduating in, in three years that sounds like it was a year early so did you have a lot of party time or you just did I straight to the book <laughs> I had a lot of party party time what, but what was the uh, craziest party memory you got um one of my craziest party memories is when I went to this tattoo party like at one o'clock in the morning we just found out about it and we walked from my dorm to this random apartment we didn't know anybody and we got a tattoo and piercings that night and it was just so random it was really random and it's dangerous you should never do that <laughs> but it was fun i mean it was college so we figured. was the needle clean at least yeah no everything was clean okay. it was perfect but it was just like it's a tattoo party it's 50 people in there trying to get tattoos for 15 dollars <laughs> each like it's terrible don't do it it's not do it all right, so uh, what did you major in at uh, North Carolina a &T? I majored in business management. Okay. Yeah, so I'm a little businesswoman. Um, and I think it's kind of beneficial for the, the industry I'm trying to go into because I have to know how to conduct myself as a businesswoman. And I have to know, you know, people think that they can get over on girls, but they really can't because I actually educated in what I'm talking about. That's dope, that's dope, that's dope. So uh, what current projects are you uh, working on right now? Um, right now, we're actually working on a YouTube channel. That's what I'm working on right now, I'm working on different videos. You know, I do different performances, so I want to compile all my videos. Yeah, I put saw them a out couple there. of your um, covers. Yeah. yeah. Some of the local spots out here. Right. So I want to put all of that stuff up. Um, just do like different promo videos, videos for my songs. All that type of stuff and compile it and put it on a YouTube channel. A lot of people get, you know, their exposure from YouTube. So that's what I want to do right now. And of course I want to put out maybe a mixtape or an album or something in the near future. I just want to continue to put out a lot of songs and build my catalog up. Okay. Uh, now, um, keeping along the lines with uh, your projects and whatnot, how did you end up um, linking up with URL Music Group? Um, I did a feature. I can't remember if it was a feature for Mel or... Yeah, I think it was Mel. I did a feature for Mel, and then I did another feature for the whole group. It was a song that we haven't really put out yet, but, um, and I kind of just got linked in and linked like that. And then, 
I don't know, they didn't have a singer. And Blanco came to me and he was like, you know, would you, how would you feel about, you know, coming with your music group and joining the group or whatever? And I was just like, you know, I'm gonna think about it. <laughs> I didn't know if I wanted to make the move. I was really, I don't know, it was, it's a, it was scary to like join in with a big group because yeah. You have to, we all really have to work together to build everybody up. And you don't know if everybody's as dedicated as you, or you don't, and they don't know the same thing about me, you know. So it was kind of scary at first, but I finally made the decision, and I'm not, I haven't regretted it yet. We've been working really hard, and I'm really proud of each and every person in URL. That's what's up. Now, um, going back to the homie Mel, um, I interviewed him, and he said he wrote a couple songs for you. Have you picked those up yet? <laughs> No, I haven't. Hey, why haven't you no, that's not my fault. <laughs> he has not gotten to me about those songs since he told me about them. Okay. But he claims he writes all these songs for me, and I'm like, I haven't heard them. But I would love to sing them. I would love to record them. That would be fun. But right. I haven't heard them. That's dope. All right, so um, that's another edition of Random Thoughts. This is the uh, lovely Miss Corey Nicole. Uh, where can they find you at on the internet? Uh, they can find me at Corey Nicole underscore URL on Twitter. Find me on Facebook as Corey Nicole, and you can find me on my blog. It's teamcorey.blogspot.com. So right, check that nope. out. Uh, Y'all can follow me on Twitter if you don't know already. Random757. Uh, check out my blog spot. Uh, I tweet about it all the time. Uh, Random757.tumblr.com. Uh, this is another edition of Random Thoughts. Shout out to the homie Flacco Wiley. Uh, all right, we out.